Okay, today I'm going to show you how to divide um, with decimals. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you how to do uh, a partial quotient division problem without decimals. So let's just take a number like uh, 405. We're going to divide that by 3. Okay, again, this is partial quotients divided by 3. Now, the first thing you're going to ask is about how many 3s go into 405? How many 3s? I always like to start with 10 or 100. Well, 3 times 10 is 30. It's not a lot. 3 times 100 would be 300. Okay, let's try that. That's, that'd be a good number to start with. All right, 100 over here. 3 times 100 gives us 300. And now all you need to do is subtract. 5 here, 0, and a 1. Now the next thing you're going to ask is how many 3s go into 105? How many 3s go into 105? At least 10, yeah. 20, 30. Yeah, let's try 30. Let's try 30. Because I know 30 times 3 is going to equal 90, and then I subtract. We get a 5 here. I have to do some regrouping. We get 15. Last thing is, all right, so all right. How many 3s go into 15? Well, I know 3 times 5 is 15, so I subtract that. And I'm left with that glorious 0. When you get to 0, you know that your work is done. However, we need to come up with our answer. What we're going to do is we're going to add... 100 plus 30 plus 5, and our answer is going to be 135. So that's an example using partial quotients on a regular division problem. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide all this over, and today what I want to challenge you to do is I want to challenge you to see if you notice all the similarities that we have when we have a decimal. So let's uh, let, let's let's rewrite this problem a little bit uh, uh, a little bit different with our decimal. Let's have forty and five tenths. Notice our decimal right here. We're gonna divide this by three. Okay. Well, for a second here, let's just let's just imagine that this decimal. It's let's just imagine it's not even here. I'll cross it off just a little bit. Okay. How many times is uh, 3 going to 405? Well, at least 100. So we're going to take away 300. We get 105. I'll do that in green. And how many times will 3 go into 105? At least 30. 3 times 30 is 90. We'll subtract that. We get 15. How many times will 3 go into 15? Well, that I know is at least 5. 15 times 5, or 5 times 3 is 15. And again, we get to that glorious 0 that we're looking for. We add this up, we get 135. So our answer here is 135. Now here's the slick part. What we're going to do is, uh, let's put that decimal point right back where we had it. Now if you think about it, we have 135, 135, but that's not right because we had a decimal point right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to think about where would this decimal point go? Does it go here? Does it go here? Does it go here? What you'll do is you'll say, all right, 3 times what would give us about 40? I know 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 13 That's 39. That's pretty close. So I need to make this number as close to 13 as possible. And I can just bring that decimal point straight up. You're going to notice that back and forth, it is the exact same thing, except over here, we're going to take away that decimal to start with, and then we're going to bring it back together. I'm going to model one other problem for you today. And let's, uh, let's just try another problem. Let's do... Uh, 2 and 52 hundredths divided by 6. Well, that's the problem we're going to come back to. Let's do it 252 divided by 6. So how many times will 6 go into 252? Well, I know 6 times 40 is 240. That would be a good start. Subtract. We're going to get 12. Ooh, look at this. 
I know 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 2 is 12. And again, we get to that glorious 0. Our answer is right here. We just add this up and we get 42. Now let's go back to that 652. Or that uh, 2 divided by 52. Let me start over. 2 and 52 hundredths divided by 6. Again, let's just pretend that this decimal is not here. And everything works out just the same. We have 40, which is 240. We subtract that. We're going to get 12. How many times will 6 go into 12? That's twice. 6 times 2 is 12. We subtract. You know it. We get to that glorious 0. Add this together, and we get 42. But we have to do something with that decimal now. Let's put that back into play. Here's our decimal. So what I'm thinking is, hmm, six times about what is going to give me about two and fifty-two hundredths? Well, I know forty-two hundredths is approximately fifty hundredths, which is which is half. And I know if I had six and I took half a six, that would be three. Now, of course, I rounded up here, so this number is pretty close to 3, which is going to tell me again that my decimal point is going to come straight up, and I get 42 hundredths. Now, formally, properly, you could write it like that, 42 hundredths. Again, the exact same thing, but now we're putting the decimal into play. Another thing I want to point out, if the decimal was here, you could simply bring it right up, because 6 times 4 is 24, which is about 25. If you wanted to put it here, we need a zero there, and it go right there. It's coming straight up.